Hey you guys, uh, good evening. My name is Maddie G and I'm doing a tarot card reading. I'm with the Great Conjunction Tarot. So um, I pulled um, cards, tarot cards, and some oracle cards for you for the collective. And it was during the full moon that the cards were revealed to me. Now, as I was meditating during the full moon, um, it was revealed to me that it wasn't time for me to post this, that I needed to wait four days to gather downloads and information energetically uh, in regards to these cards. And so that's what I did. So here I am today now going to post this and share this with you guys as a collective. Um, I'm just going to hop into this. Uh, there's two cards in particular that were the theme. And um, it will make sense to you as you uh, listen to the reading to understand these two themes that... Um, are they coexist together because they're part of who we are um, so there were two energetic pathways and that's how it was revealed to me through the download two cards were revealed to me and um, those cards are this one here run wild and the universe card these two cards so this is the theme of this reading today okay this one is physical, this one is spiritual, or the soul path. And they both work together as a conjunction, kind of similar to what happened to us, the great conjunction of uh, 2020 with the star. So um, what I receive for download is that when you are on the path of mastery, um, no matter if you are in pursuit of your twin flame and soulmate, which is a really powerful journey, um, or your masterworks, career-based, or you know even you know certain goals that you have when you're in pursuit of your dreams, um, there is a an energy that is recognized across the board with people who have raised their vibration enough that they have self-love and um, are in pursuit of their mastery, in pursuit of their gifts. Um, when we do pursue our masterworks in all its different layers and levels, we work within the sacred space of our heart and soul. And that's where the vibration of self-love comes from is the heart and soul when you finally see the mirror of that it's a very powerful aha moment and some people um, struggle all of their life with seeing that and having a hard time and loving themselves which is really sad but um, you know there is a way to raise out of that but it requires work and um, we all are responsible for raising our vibration and assisting each other in um, being able to work through the shadows that keep us held back and to help us all ascend into a higher vibration of existence that complements one another. So anyways, um, the two cards that were revealed, um, these two cards, the, the downloads that I received, it was downloads that required me to share with you first about this reading some information so it, it has to do with vibrational synchronicities that manifest as we align to the purpose of our highest good and as a collective we are assigned the task of evolving our energetic vibrations in essence our energetic evolution is one that comes from a soul contract that we come here to earth with this energetic evolution manifests physically in many forms. Um, you know, it can be, like I said, the pursuit of a soulmate or, you know, different manifestation of dreams. And the thing is, is that with energy, as you pursue your highest calling, there are layers to it. So um, I don't want to say there's, there's a hierarchy because that's kind of the, in the physical realm. Um, but there's there's different teachings that come along as we pursue um, excellence as we pursue our, our highest gifts, uh, the gifts that we're, uh, we carry as part of our energetic evolution. Uh, we, we need to master those to evolve. Um, and so um, each energetic step we take towards our self-actualization um, equates to evolving our energetic blueprint 
and raising our vibration into alignment um, with our mastery works. And ultimately, the pursuit of this, I think for across the board, is that it equates to a more blissful life, right? It equates to a much more joyful existence. If we're not caught up in the lower vibrations and shadow work of um, entanglement, which a lot of people are, even though they're multi-billionaires, they're miserable, which means that they pursued their success within the lower vibration of entanglement to begin with. Uh, to be wealthy, you can be happy and content, but it requires you to practice the, the art of energetic mastery through the process of raising up to that success financially. Um, and unfortunately, it's been an unmindful process across the world when it comes to um, our gifts of in innovation and invention. Uh, unfortunately, we lacked seeing the value of the life force um, and mutilated it. So there's consequences, karmic consequences for that. So anyways, sorry, I got off a little bit on a tangent, but these vibrational synchronicities reveal themselves because of the union between our heart and soul in direct relationship with our spiritual and physical realities, and it also includes the cosmic astrological energies that are taking place vibrationally. So um, what was revealed to me is to mention that, you know that saying, it is written in the stars? So astrological realms and um, the vibrations that exist in the cosmos um, is interrelated to and coexist with our own personal dharmic energies and so when it when when you hear that it is written in the stars it means that there's always this higher um, ascended energy that has its own motion and as physical beings we also have our own energetic movement, our own energetic motion. And our soul is aware and has the knowledge because the soul is perfect love. When all is said and done, our soul is the energy of love. And so because of that, we as a soul, the soul within our physical body, has the frequency to connect to the perfect motion and synchronicities that exist within the um, astrological and cosmos, the cosmic vibrations, if you will. It's called also God consciousness. Um, but um, we're not taught that soul print. We're not taught about that because it's not scientifically proven. Um, so anyways, uh, so what happens is that synchronicity happens because of the marriage of these en energies. You know, when we start raising our vibration and tapping into the source of our soul, the wisdom of our soul, which is also interconnected to our heart path, um, we begin to see these synchronicities. We begin to become aware of them. And there's, there's a teaching of intuition that also stems from this space, this deep space of connection. So synchronicity happens because of this marriage of energies and our free will in the physical form, meaning our conscious efforts to raise our own vibrational frequencies with the highest good. Now, if you're not doing that, then that's a different story. And um, I'll tap into that in just a moment. It's called shadow work. But whatever you're pursuing in the physical realm of life, you are in essence dancing with the frequencies of energetic synchronicities if you are coming from a sacred space of mindfulness and that sacred space of love. Um, and if you are, then you are going to manifest a blissful existence. Um, it's just a given and it's, it's the, the, um, the ripple effect. It's, it, it you know, it's, it's a cause and effect and that's what's going to happen. So if you're manifesting vibrationally, um, in this existence, you are, you're doing it from an engineered conscious space of, of understanding. So when spiritualists talk about lower vibrational energies, they are referring to entanglement 
And within that entanglement are distractions that get you away from your focus. And um, these distractions uh, to our society, you know, is, they call it negative energy, but you know, there's tension in our, in our universe. I mean, that's a, a no brainer. We all know that there's yin and yang and there's duality. And um, so the entanglement and distractions is actually, it is part of that uh, synchronicity vibration that cosmic God consciousness um, realm is sort of like a cause and effect that occurs and so the the entanglement and distractions uh, come because of our yearning to evolve energetically and not knowing how to do it right so because we're not perfect our soul is perfect. It is made in the divine energy of love, in the love frequency. And so, um, but because we're in a physical body, and I have written a, an essay, a reflective essay about this, the soul print, and that's going to be offered uh, on my website uh, once I get that published. Uh, if you sign up for my, um, my email um, newsletter and um, you know the uh, community of which I'm creating as a appreciation gift I'm going to be providing um, a audio um, recording of this download that I received in regards to what is coined the soul print and what that means but um, anyways, so when spiritualists talk about lower vibrational energies, they are referring to entanglement and distractions. Um, these distractions are actually energetic healers, though we hate them or we dislike them, um, if we are open to receive it. So it depends on our vibration and, and you know, where we're at in regards to our own understanding. Um, and shadow work, in essence, um, what it does is it allows us to to evolve energetically and to eventually get to a space where the synchronicities become more, um, they reveal themselves more. And, and what it does is it expands you and you begin to understand that energy is all encompassing and that there is a synchronicity, a communication, a natural communication that is spiritual that is energetic that you come to build relationship with okay so I know that was really intense and I hope it didn't stop you from listening to my video um, but that is the download that I received from my meditation so I wanted to share that with you it's part of this reading uh, it might make sense after you hear the reading so um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the uh, Run Wild card, and the reason why is because uh, it represents your physical realm as of now. So the download that I received pertains to physical manifestation. There is a seed that was planted within you a long time ago, and it has stayed dormant up until now. Uh, you have a yearning to finally tap into this powerful seed frequency, and manifest something into physical reality. So this is really important to understand that a lot of times we can't see uh, energy like it's it's a vibration, right? We can see it from the sense from from the intuition, um, but it's usually not like you don't see like how you see in physical form. What it is is it's a language and. Um, and it, the language can be expressed in a yearning, right? You yearn something. You desire something. When you're doing shadow work, that yearning sometimes can show up in jealousy. Um, so when you yearn something, sometimes you might see somebody, a reflection of yourself in somebody else that's already there that you're desiring to be there. And so you get jealous. And that's an emotional trigger and an aha moment for you if you're open to it vibrationally to recognize it. So then you can manage it and say, oh, okay. And you don't need to be like, oh, geez, that's such a negative vibration because that's just part of growth. It's part of being human. And it's okay to have that feeling. It's just a feeling. So anyways, so this yearning really is about this really powerful seed frequency that you carry within yourself. And it's a frequency of which 
is going to help you to evolve energetically and to raise your vibration. What the download was showing me is that this seed is going to bloom. It's a very powerful yearning inside. It might be a soulmate, a twin flame that you've been really desiring and it's starting to manifest. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's the vibration of the physical and the spiritual because a soulmate is also spiritual. It is, it is, it is, it is the soul print between two people, that soulmate connection, that twin flame. Um, along the process of this manifestation, the download uh, revealed to me, you will discover new gifts. So you're going to have this one yearning and you're going to pursue it. But in the manifestation of that energy, you're going to start discovering these powerful gifts about who you are as a spiritual person within physical, within this physical reality. And you're going to discover mastery. Um, of these gifts. You're going to discover that you can master these gifts and they're going to present new seeds of awareness and new manifestations of blissfulness in whatever form they take. Um, and the download was communicating, this card was communicating that this card is an action card. So it means that in the yearning needs to to manifest itself with you taking the first steps and by doing hands-on that's how you're going to learn and that's how this is going to manifest so you're meant to actualize your gifts through this bold step of action and through that process you're going to automatically and naturally align with the alchemization of these energies you're going to start mastering that in and of itself so the download that I received was trying to communicate that. Create from that space. So take these gifts that are being revealed to you and create from them in whatever shape and form they're supposed to take. I have a friend who's a filmmaker and a storyteller, and I can see where this would manifest for her with regards to create from that frequency, create from those new gifts that are, that are being revealed. It's a powerful space to be in. This action card is very powerful for you in where you're going in the near future. So along this path, you will generate or receive new seeds of wisdom and counsel. This will raise you into a frequency of energetic transformation and as a personal journey, it's individual. So also for some of you, it was showing that, you know, fear can get in the way of us, right? Anytime that we jump into the unknown, which this card is about action, right? You know, there is a sense of the unknown here, right? But, um, you know, there's, and everybody feels because we're human, we have feelings, which are blessings. And so you might have this feeling of being scared oh you know oh I, I can't do it or you know uh, you know it's, it's not always clear for us what is clear is our ability to be intuitive and mindful as we step out into the unknown and set sail right so when you follow your heart you can manage that sense listen to it because fear is a gift also but you can manage that sense of intuition of understanding that you know is this safe for me is it not whatever this is if you continue to allow this seed to stay dormant spirit is saying that it, you will become stagnant that we need to evolve and grow and so your energies will generate lower vibrational frequencies if you just if you sit in fear and keep it dormant you just need to be mindful about how you go about taking action with regards to this this yearning you have and always come from a sacred space of mindfulness because if you do the cause and effect will will manifest a win-win for your particular journey and um, 
the higher realm of spirit is transpiring in your favor. So you just need to understand that you have free will. And sometimes when we have free will, you know, our own ego can get in the way of things. And I mean, and even ego is not bad. I mean, there's, there's always the checks and balances with that, right? So I asked spirit, what are the lessons that um, the collective needs to know? Um, you know, what are the lessons that we will align with in response to this? And what was revealed to me for the cards, I'm going to show you. Um, there was, let me see, one, two, three, four cards here. And then there's, there's some powerful ones besides these four cards, and I will get to those. But I'm going to just talk about these ones, because these ones really brought a sense of where you were going in re regards to your evolution, your energetic evolution. So um, what we have here, we have the loyal heart. Okay. And... The next card that was pulled, and actually all these cards just flew out, <laughs> Serendipity. And then we have the TikTok. And then the next card is the All That Glitters. Okay? So these cards actually represent, um, they represent faithfulness, dedication, and belief. Uh, what this means is you will have duality appear within these lessons. These are where you're going with this dream or this pursuit. Um, but there's there's going to be um, lessons that are going to be the opposite of faithfulness, dedication, and belief. So the opposite of faith is distrust. You're going to be faced internally with this, this energy. Uh, the opposite of dedication is giving up. You're going to have moments where you're going to question yourself and... Um, you know, you might get really frustrated and say, ah, it's, it's not worth it, you know. The opposite of belief is doubting. And, you know, there's a lot of energies in the universe, a lot of energies out into our civilization and our communities. And when you're pursuing a passion and you're pursuing your gifts, a lot of times energetically, you'll be surrounded around lower vibrational energies of people. And they're not your support system. You have to find the strength within yourself um, to pull yourself back up to that understanding, that higher vibration of mindfulness and self-love and honoring who you are authentically. Uh, this pursuit is meant to happen, and that's what the cards revealed to me. So stay loyal to see this vision to fruition. Don't give up. So then um, I had asked the question or it was revealed to me, is this pursuit auspicious? And yes, it is. Um, so the auspicious card, let me see which one that was. Um, that is the serendipity card. Um, so the serendipity card, yes, it is. Regardless of the outcome, you are being asked to walk in courage and faith. There is an alignment of events that, are, that is going to unfold for you, and it's a good pursuit. So you're on the right path. Um, one of the downloads that I received in regards to this reading is that do not get distracted by desperation or that time is of essence. And that's where that TikTok card comes into play. Um, that... Understand you're working with divine timing. So as you're pursuing this endeavor, whatever it is, um, it's coming from that uh, interrelationship, the marriage between your own yearning and vibration within that gift that you hold uh, in alignment with the God consciousness and cosmic energies. Um, and so it's divine timing is everything. It's not timing that's based off demands. It's not timing based off desperate actions um, or desperation for f fulfillment and not being patient. And especially if this is regarding a soulmate. Uh, anytime you're dealing with energies, it has its own rhythm. And like each one of us has our own energetic rhythm, so does 
the universe and you have to somehow be able to let things unfold naturally rather than trying to hurry it up. So the All That Glitters card, the card um, right here, pursue the authenticity of energetic love, not superficial. So if you are pursuing from a superficial space in impatience, desperation, or in greed, you will generate superficial relationships and fall into entanglement rather than true, authentic, and joyous existence. So then I had asked um, the universe, what can we do as a collective um, in terms of manifesting this with you know, and, and, and helping us energetically as we raise our own vibrations and master our own internal energies in relationship to this, this higher vibration that's trying to manifest in existence. And um, the black onyx was revealed to me. And um, the black onyx, it, it helps generate a sense of focus. And you can place this into your left hand. You can sit for a minute if you're really like struggling with one of these other challenges that I mentioned earlier. Um, you know, the faithfulness, dedication, and belief, those energies of distrust or giving up or doubting the pursuit of it. Um, if you have this black onyx, it's, it's supposed to help generate within yourself the focus that is necessary to keep going and um, it will help you come back into focus or maintain focus and it it will help you vibrationally see identify and release distractions that are getting you off focus in other words the entanglement so mind you that the energies are conspiring for your success, and it will come if you mindfully pursue. So that's what I have here for you today. I'm going to be talking about this card next, and you can expect that to be posted on my Instagram account and YouTube um, over this next week. Probably um, it's either going to be Wednesday or Thursday. So take care, everybody, and have a wonderful couple of next days.